everybody welcome back to the youtube channel it's been a while since i've done anything and i'm probably just about as bored as you are instead of making a long-winded intro i'll just explain what this is i'm building a zoo how i'm managing this is with an add-on for the bedrock edition of minecraft that i didn't know existed until about three days ago so I'm about three days into the construction of this zoo, but I promise there is a lot more to go. So much so that I could make this into, say, a YouTube series, which is the plan. For this first episode, my plan was just to do a little tour and maybe just a little bit of work, but not a lot. So I guess we can start way at the back of the zoo. Which, of course, the term back is kind of relative. There is no real back of the zoo. But um, these are the beavers and they are quite cute. And this is their little exhibit. And there's, um, I think, Tanya, her name was got flashed on the screen there. Um, I made sure um, that all of the animals got named just so that they don't despawn. And as I said, later on, you know, we'll have an entrance in the zoo. Maybe we'll put some trees here. This is a work in progress. Next up are the koalas. I made this exhibit, so um, I know what's in here. There are three regular koalas, and then way at the back, you can kind of see one albino koala. And it might be a little hard to see. You know what? I'll just take you right inside the enclosure. Um, they do climb the bamboo, which I think is a really cool feature. Continuing on, um, I have the meerkats right here. This is one of the most recent exhibits. And next up, we have some flamingos. If you're wondering what the hole is for, I guess it's for decoration, but the real truth is that it was a little pond. And the AI of the flamingos is pretty bad, and they managed to drown in it, even though it was only one block deep. So for safety reasons, I had to make it into a hole. Next up, these are just the bathrooms, nothing really too stellar. I mean, it's just some bathrooms. It's not, not that exciting. Next up, these are the fennec foxes and I think they might be hiding a little bit, uh, but here's one right there. Oh, he's running away a little bit, very cute. And I know I'm not taking a very um, long time to show you each of these exhibits, but um, I would like to move on. I have just a very small project I want to get done. Uh, but this is their little hideout. It's nothing stellar, but, you know, it's good for them to get out of the rain. Next, I think you might be excited to see the narwhals. They're down here. Or not, they're hanging out at the surface right now, but they do dive and actually swim underwater and all kinds of stuff. I guess they're just being a little boring right now, but we have two narwhals and we also have the vanilla Minecraft tropical fish in here. They're not named, so I don't know if they'll despawn, probably not. And there goes one right under there, then a little narwhal. And there's also a uh, squid or octopus, octopus in there. These are the peacocks. I decided to put their exhibit here because it's actually in a natural flower field. So, I don't know. I just thought it made sense. And they do make noises. I don't know if you'll hear them or not. I was thinking about putting some background music to this. I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. Uh, next up, these are the red pandas. And they have a more um, shut enclosure, I guess. I don't know what made me elect to do this, but I just thought that this was a little better for them. There is a second little viewing window, but it's not very official. There's no path leading to it, but you can use it if you want. And if I cheat a little bit and fly up here, you can see that they do actually have a real little cave thing that they can go into. Is he gonna go into it? Is he gonna? I don't think he will, but they do from time to time go in. 
Um, it's not, it's really nothing interesting in there. It's just a little place, I guess, for them to get out of the rain, which of course, um, they don't actually like run from the rain or anything in this add-on, but I just thought it'd be a nice touch. The path continues up here, and we're already nearing the end of the tour, as big as the zoo seems like it is already. But we've got the ostriches here, and I made this exhibit, and Dawson made the emu exhibit. What? Am I the only one seeing this? Why are there no emus? That's very weird. Well, I guess in the first episode, we've already caught something odd. Well, there were four emus, so... Um... I'll just spawn them back in. Very weird that they, uh, disappeared. They were all named, so I don't think it had anything to do with that. But the world did get a little glitchy at one point. Maybe they glitched out, but they're back now, and um, they can be renamed later. I don't know what their names originally were, because Dawson built this exhibit, so I don't... I don't remember their names very well, but um, they're right here. The next exhibit, which is only partially complete, I think. I'm not sure. He started on this while I was gone, but this is the Dick Dick exhibit. Um, yes, go ahead and get your laughs out. They're called Dick Dicks, but um, I think I, I think they're kind of just like a dwarf deer in a way. I haven't seen any in real life, but uh. Why is the fourth one of these gone as well? Very weird. Uh, we've got Jenny, Logan, Tabitha. Uh, I don't remember the other one's name, but I'll have to spawn it back in. Very weird, huh? There we go. Oh, he's a baby. What? <laughs> I guess I guess we'll eventually grow up, huh? Yeah, don't tell anybody I had to replace the animals, but that's everything I've got so far. So, um, if I haven't already made it clear, I am making this zoo in conjunction with Dawson. He may be working on video sometimes, sometimes he won't be, but I want to get a lot of the progress made on video because the point of this is for you guys to see it. So, now that I have a little bit of time left after the tour, as you can see, this exhibit is so new that I don't really have a path wrapping around it. And um, also, it might be important to note that I don't know that the enclosure is entirely complete, and if it is, I will definitely maybe be adding a tree in or something. Let's go ahead and get some cobble and some path blocks and let's uh let's knock out this little path so i think it's best just to start at this side and i guess i'll go ahead and just show you the process of how i make these paths so first i'm gonna outline this area in cobble so i will probably just speed through my outlining a little bit. Okay, so I have the exhibit outlined in cobble, and as you can tell, this path is definitely going to be running into this one, and I will figure out how to mesh that right now. So the path is too wide, and I'm just going to go ahead and break until I can become part of this path here. still have a little more meshing to do let's let's go ahead and see here so then one two three one two one two three one two and there we go 
Perfect. Okay, that will be how they intersect. That was pretty easy. So then I go one, two, three here, one, two, three here, and I basically continue in this sort of one, two, three pattern. Okay, so there's that, and I think off camera I'll just go ahead and complete the little outline going around in cobble. That's not too big of a deal. Alright, and there it is. I finished it. So that's pretty great, and I'm really happy to say that it's all done. So I think that's going to be it for this video, and in the next one I'm sure there might be a little more happening with this exhibit, and I will be making something new for you. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, and maybe a comment, but sometimes YouTube randomly disables the ability to comment, and I don't know why. But thank you for joining me, and I guess I will see you next time.